Just for the time being though, let's turn our attention to the consumer durable space. As summer season comes to an end, consumer durable makers have a reason to cheer. After three years of subdued demand, well, the industry has seen a record growth in uh, cooling appliances. My colleague, Shilpa Rani Peta joins us to fill us in with more details. Well, Shilpa, it's been a scorching hot summer. I have chilled out with something else, but you tell us about uh, the appliances space. Go ahead. Well, the scorching summer, definitely, that has brought cheer to the consumer durable makers. For three years, they have not been seeing any significant growth. But this time, between March to May, the industry has, in fact, grown about 25% overall over last year. And this is obviously led by the AC segment, given the heat. The AC segment grew by almost 30%. And the Consumer Electronics and Manufacturers Association expects that the year, at the end of the year, uh, they will sell about 13.5 million pieces of uh, air conditioners and this is as against about 11 units that was uh, 11 million units that were sold uh, last year the refrigerator segment also saw about 20 percent growth overall and the mass segment also which has been seeing a decline over the past three years has bounced back with the air coolers also doing really well and the unprecedented demand in fact also led to supply shortages uh, for a few of the players now this growth remember comes on the back of a decline in fact last year the summer season we saw 25 to 30 percent decline for cooling appliances for consumer durable players. Now, some of the brands have also actually done exceptionally well. If you look at Godrej appliances, their AC sales grew 150%. Re refrigerators grew about 40%. Vijay Sales, which is the retailer, says that ACs grew 60%. And in the mass segment, air coolers grew 60 to 70% over last year. Blue Star also, in fact, given the unprecedented demand, says that it expects room, condi room air conditioners to grow nearly 60% in the first quarter of FI25. Other brands like Symphony, also said that they saw very robust demand across segments and across territories and all of this on back of the summer heat that we saw over the past couple of months and while there is robust demand going on there is on the other hand also raw material shortages and prices inching up that we're seeing and given this we're given to understand that we could expect price hikes in the next quarter some brands are given to understand we're given to understand might hike prices by two to three percent in the second quarter this is on the back of rising copper prices aluminium prices, ocean freight prices nearly doubling and also container prices that are increasing. Back to you. All right, uh, Shilpa, thanks very much. You know, I had a, Nigel, I had a friend in Jaipur hmm. who moved from Bombay to Jaipur. He was looking for a, for a one-ton five-star AC. And he was, I mean, I don't know if he's exaggerating. He said, I couldn't find it. Oh. <laughs> because the higher, uh, and people have become very conscious of stars uh, because yeah. of power savings, etc. Yeah. So higher end, you know, two-ton, whatever you could find, it was available. And chains he visited in Jaipur, they said, well, you know, whatever we used to sell in a year, they sold in three months flat. Wow. So uh, it's, uh, when the numbers come out and uh, the, the, you know, the unit volume numbers which Shilpa put out, I think, bear that out. But I think the final results uh, for the quarter when they come out, I think should be uh, Interesting. Yeah. Pretty, pretty good. All the stocks are up. I was looking at Voltas, Blue Star, uh, 